Hello, my beautiful Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome to your Zodiac reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. I do hope you're doing well, Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. Please remember, use discernment. Take what resonates, leave what does not. All right, if you believe the message isn't for you, that's okay. You're always welcome to watch the other readings here on the channel. If you'd like to know more about your birth chart, definitely check out the description box. I have referred a, uh, a website that you can visit and all you have to do is provide your birthday information and you'll get a free birth chart generated, okay? So let's get started. Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. You have the Ten of Cups. Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. You have the Page of Cups. All right, and you have the Queen of Wands. Ten of Cups. Okay, so the Ten of Cups talks about that, you know, happy life, happy family life, your fairy tale ending, you getting your, your true emotional fulfillment, feeling completely complete, completely complete. <laughs> feeling complete, feeling fulfilled you know it's the maximum cup in the deck it's 10 out of 10 okay you can't go wrong with a 10 of cups that's your happily ever after and then you have the page of cups the page of cups talks about communication messages and news this is most like this is more likely someone giving communication giving news someone who may be interested in you i know the page of cups is someone who's very emotional sensitive imaginative um someone who may even be an admirer of some sort and then you have the queen of wands the queen of wands is someone who's very confident very ambitious very um very physically attractive and sexy and this is a go-getter this is someone who's very optimistic very energetic so let's look at the ten of wands here okay clarify the ten of wands clarify the ten of wands you have the Seven of Swords. Someone is getting ready. Like someone is getting ready for you. Someone's preparing for you or you're getting ready for someone. Like you're preparing something here. Aries, this could be you where you're not telling someone something. Like you're keeping your plans low key for now, hidden for now. But I feel like you're preparing something for someone. Hmm. Or they could be the one doing this for you, okay? Huh. The Eight of Swords. This is a big surprise. Um... I find this Eight of Swords. It's almost like, yeah, the person who's being surprised has no clue what's going on. It's almost like they've been kept in the unknown. See how this woman's like blindfolded, tied up, and surrounded by swords? That's what's happening here. The person who's getting surprised or being surprised, they have no idea what's going on behind the scenes. They're actually in the Four of Cups feeling a little bit bored maybe even dissatisfied uh, because things don't don't seem to be picking up for them. Um, the Hierophant is here. Yeah, I feel like this is someone who has really high, I feel like this is a love reading. I feel like this is someone who has really high expectations when it comes to their love life. They've been expecting something to happen in their love life, but nothing's been happening. So uh, at least from what they can see, okay? They're in this Eight of Swords, they're blindfolded, they're tied up, but from what they can see, nothing, like their love life is feeling quite slow and boring. Um, they, This person was anticipating some sort of higher level commitment with the Hierophant here. The Hierophant represents marriage or it's symbolic for marriage. Um, the Hierophant could even represent someone who's very spiritual, 
not spiritual. Well, it can represent someone who's very powerful, influential. The Hierophant can be very spiritual, spiritual and traditional, I would say, or spiritual, traditional, religious. This is just someone who's very conventional, okay? Um, but the Hierophant could even represent a Taurus. Let me see what's going on here with the Hierophant. It sounds like someone has been someone who's been anticipating things to happen in their love life, but it hasn't happened. So they're sitting here feeling dissatisfied, maybe even bored. Yeah, the Knight of Wands is someone who's on a passionate pursuit. It's almost like their person could be the Hierophant. Their person could be the Hierophant, someone who's powerful, inspirational, influential. The Knight of Wands is an action taker. The Knight of Wands, you know, he thinks and then he takes action right away. Uh, I do feel like I do feel like there's about to be action here. But right now, the one who's gonna be surprised is in this Eight of Swords and Four of Cups, feeling bored, maybe feeling left out in the cold, maybe feeling dissatisfied. Um, because they don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Their person is the Hierophant Knight of Wands. Their person is someone who's very powerful and inspirational and influential. Looks like their person is taking action, but it just isn't revealed yet. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like, let me see, Seven of Swords, Knight of Wands. Yeah, the, the person who's who's doing the surprising is the Seven of Swords. They're being sneaky. They're being quiet. They're not saying anything. They do have plans, though. Like the Three of Pentacles is working together. They do want to work with this person and be a part of their life. Maybe even collaborate on something. But they're like, it's a secret. They're withholding information. That's what the Seven of Swords is. Withholding information, being sneaky. Yeah, it, again, the Knight of Swords is a big action card. The Knight of Swords is a swift action taker. So what they're doing is like, it's almost like they're they're putting something together. They're 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 putting together a surprise for this individual here who feels bored and dissatisfied because they can't see what's going on behind the scenes. These like the knights are action cards. A swift action taker, a passionate action taker, very determined. So okay, tell us more about this 10 of cups. Let me see. The one who's taking all this action, tell us more about them. Tell us more about the one who's... Okay, so the one who's taking all this action, they're showing up as the Ace of Pentacles. There's so many ways that I can read this Ace of Pentacles. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is a divine blessing. Three of Swords. Careful the Ace of Pentacles. Mm. Yeah, the one who's taking all this action is an Ace of Pentacles type. This person is very blessed and very prosperous. They may even live a very well-off life. Maybe they're like well-off, you know, very successful and everything. But I feel like they haven't had the best of luck in their personal life. Like maybe this is someone who's very successful and prosperous and financially secure. You know, this person is, is a blessing to the world. But I feel like people in their personal life haven't treated them the best. Like the Three of Swords is heartbreak and disappointment. They've had to walk away from people. Five of Swords. Right? They've had to surrender relationships and walk away with their pride pride and dignity because people weren't treating them well. Um, this person is a blessing. They literally came out as the Ace of Pentacles. That's a big deal. A blessing to the world, a gift, a divine gift to the world. But clearly the people in their life couldn't see that and mistreated them. And I'm glad that they walked away. Okay. So this is the person here. This could be you, Aries, or the person who you're connected to who is like taking action, but they're keeping this from you. Yeah, they're keeping this from their lover. Like, what is this action that they're... It, it's clearly something positive. It's something... Because the Ten of Cups is there. It's that happily ever after. 
You know, it's not anything bad that they're doing behind the scene. They're just keeping it quiet. The Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior, Page of Pentacles is in the reverse. Huh. Clarify the Nine of Wands. Let me see. Clear for the Nine of Wands. Six of Wands. Mm. They can be a little... Okay, so... I'm just going to say... I feel like Aries, this is you, because this is your reading. I feel like Aries, of course, feel free to switch the roles always. But I feel like Aries, you're the Ace of Pentacles. You're the gift, because this is your this is your reading. You're the main character. But feel free to reverse it. You're the gift to the world. You're a divine blessing to the world. But the people in your personal life mistreated you. Okay? They didn't see that. And that's fine. You were a blessing in disguise. And I'm pretty sure not every no, everyone knows that you're the blessing. So all the people who mistreated you, you can just cut them off, you know, or set boundaries with them. Um, but I feel like Aries, you, and again, you can reverse the roles, okay? But I feel like Aries, you are being sneaky here at the Seven of Swords. You're withholding information, but you're taking action Oops, let me plug in. You're taking action behind the scenes, but you're keeping something like under wraps. <laughs> you're, I don't know if you're trying to surprise. I don't know if you're trying to surprise someone. You know, if you're trying to surprise this person, you don't want them to know. You're keeping quiet. You're withholding information. But I see behind the scenes, you're like... <laughs> It's like behind the scenes, you're doing something here. I like, I see you like, like rushing, like you're, you're, I see you like rushing and doing things because you don't want this person to find out what you're doing, but it's nothing bad that you're doing. You want this person to be completely left, like left in the, un like kept in the unknown. You want them to not be aware of this. It's a big surprise, I feel. And it's working because they're sitting here as an eight of swords. <sighs> They're sitting here like bored, dissatisfied. They're wondering when are things going to, you know, pick up in their love life. And then this is you again, Aries. Like you're the higher font here. You're taking action again. <laughs> what is this that you're doing? Let me see. You came up. So the nine of wands, page of pentacles, and the six of wands. So here's what you need to know about this person that you're pursuing. The one who has no clue that you're taking this kind of action, right? What you need to know is this person's a wounded warrior. They have been through a lot. I feel like this person may even be paranoid. Okay, they're very, they're paranoid because I feel like people, just like how people disappointed you and you had to walk away from them, I feel like the same thing happened to this individual where they have been like, it's almost like all their life they had to fight. They've had to defend themselves from some of the worst of the worst people, like people trying to challenge them, people trying to block them, delay them, people trying to sabotage them, people trying to take advantage of them, people trying to maybe even harm them, okay, abuse them. Um, there is major paranoia here, and I feel like this person is quite pessimistic when it comes to people, their relationships and connections that they form with people. This is someone who's just like, oh, I know, you know, eventually this friendship is going to fail or I know eventually this relationship is going to fail because I feel like that's what has happened to them. It's almost like everyone has turned on this person. Everyone has has done something to this individual. They haven't had the best of luck when it comes to people. Okay. That's why they're in the reverse, the page of pentacles in the reverse. They don't extend themselves to people very often. This person, I feel like they just keep connections casual. Like they they have casual connections with people, but nothing too personal. The way I, the way I see it in the reverse like this, and they don't really, <laughs> this person's very pessimistic. They don't really like, they're used to doing things by themselves because people have wronged them. People have left this person in really bad, like, it's almost like this is someone who was truly a victim of, of, of something here, okay? 
Um, so they don't really see, how do I say it in a nice way? They're used to doing things by themselves. They're very independent. The way I see them like this, six of wands, they're used to overcoming obstacles, defeating enemies and conquering, you know, like this is a conqueror. This is a redeemer. So this is a warrior at heart. They're, they're always ready for some sort of war because I feel like really the, like the devil has tried to attack this person in so many ways. So this is someone who's very like vigilant. Let me not say paranoid. They're vigilant. That's the better word. They are vigilant and uh, pessimistic. They're very independent. They're used to doing things by themselves because no one really had good intentions for this individual. Right? So it's almost like they, this person is a literal conqueror. It's like it's like obstacles after obstacles that they've had to conquer to the point where it's almost like they're used to it, you know? They carry the six of wands as the victor. They're always like, okay, what's next? What's the next issue? I can overcome it. What's the next problem? Who's gonna block me now? I'll overcome it. Like, this is an overcomer, this is a redeemer. And because they've been through so much, they don't really, this person is really, really independent, Aries. Really independent. For them to really like you a lot is going to... Maybe that's why you're even taking all of this action. They don't give offers very easily. That's why the Page of Pentacles is in the reverse. I don't, I don't feel like this is someone who's like mean or unfriendly. I feel like this person could be, you know, courteous and kind and loving, but... They don't let people get close enough to hurt them. They're vigilant. Yeah, yeah, okay. The thing is, they're on the back of the deck as a six of pentacles. This person is a giver. This person is a giver. They will pour, pour into you as much as you pour into them. It's just, it's going to take a lot to get them to that point of doing that you know, like, like bringing you into their life and sharing things with you. Yeah, that's really what I'm seeing here. So what is this action? What is this action that Aries is taking? The Knight of Swords, the Knight of Wands. What is this action here? Wow, you're really taking charge. Like the Emperor is the most powerful masculine energy in the deck. The Emperor takes charge the Emperor is an alpha, very assertive, very dominant, very wise, very mature. I wonder what is it that you're doing here at the Emperor? Maybe you want to just, you want to play a bigger role. I feel like you're preparing something for this person. You just aren't telling them. The Six of Cups. The Six of Cups. This person must mean a lot to you, Aries, because I feel like you're really going out of your way to prepare something for them. The Six of Cups, it could talk about a home. Hmm. It could talk about home. I keep on hearing home, but the Six of Cups, it's like a, it's like a, a return from the past. Childhood memories or someone from the past showing up. What is the Six of Cups? You're preparing something to like to get with this individual. Maybe you want to reunite with them. I guess there's some sort of familiarity here between the two of you. And you want this coming together with the Six of Cups. You want to see them again. Boom. You want to see them again. You want... You want, you want, like, you want the two of you to come together again, okay? Whether this is someone who you have a past or history with, whether this is someone who you're just now getting to know, whether this is someone who you briefly saw somewhere and you're interested in them. But I do feel like you want a union with them. You either want a union or a reunion. If this is someone who's fairly new, you want to get to know them. You want to get to know them more. You want a union. If this is someone from your past, you want a reunion, Okay. The three of pentacles working together, establishing something here together. And the sun card, happiness, fulfillment, growth. You want this person close to you. Like, I feel like you're doing something where they will, where you can get involved in their life and they can get involved in your life. You want 
the two of you to support each other, but the three of pentacles. You really want the both of you to be involved in each other's lives. There's something that you're doing here. Clear for the six of cups. You're doing something. King of wands. You're very determined. What is this that they're doing? The six of cups. You're very determined to, it's something big that you're planning here for this person. What is the six of cups? Yeah, you're working on something and you're, <laughs> You being this king of wands, you're determined. The magician is someone who's very skilled and crafty. The magician knows how to bring their manifestations to life. So there's a plan here that you're working on. There's some sort of goal. You're putting in that work. Like you're, you're really working to bring you and this person together with the six of cups. Like, are you putting something together where you where you and this person can come meet each other face to face? If this is someone who you're familiar with, I feel like you're putting something together where the two of you can see each other again. That's what it seems like. Yeah, that's what it is. You want the two of you to see each other again. Yeah. Whether this is someone new or someone who you have a history with, you want to see them again. And you're putting something together where that will happen. Because with the Five of Pentacles here, feeling left out in the cold, clarify the Five of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is someone who's very committed to their goals and their dreams. Someone who's trying to accomplish something here. What is this that you're doing? Remember the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles could be someone who feels left out in the cold, abandoned. Maybe you work a lot too. Look at this Five of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. I feel like it's your fear of being left out in the cold by this person. It may be a fear of rejection. So you're doing everything in your power so that this person won't reject you won't say no to you the empress wow you think very highly of this person the empress is like when if someone when someone sees you as the empress they are putting you on a really high pedestal like they really value you they're really impressed by you the empress is the most beautiful most beautiful feminine energy in the deck most powerful feminine energy in the deck um, you, you are an emperor. So you, the fact that you see this person as an empress Aries, that means that you really see a lot in them. Like you feel like this is your, the one, the emperor and the, and the empress, they go together. They're counterparts, suitors. So you, you think the world of this person, like literally the hangman is here. You're, you're like crazy about this person, but in a beautiful way, in a good way, you're like head over heels in love with this person and you know you being an emperor i'm sure you are a valuable person as well so i'm sure you can tell when another person is very valuable and you can see this person's worth and value you see them as the queen of pentacles the one who you want to commit to and you want them to commit to you that's a big deal aries i feel like that's why you're working hard there's something that you're doing with this seven of pentacles, five of pentacles. There's some, of course, two of wands came out. You're carrying out a plan. 
Yes, you're carrying out a plan. You're really trying to impress this individual because you think so highly of them and you know how like worthy and valuable they are. Pray for the Seven of Pentacles. What is this that you're doing? The Seven of Pentacles is someone who's very persistent when pursuing something. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. Two of Swords. Why do I feel like you're sort of overworking yourself though, Aries, when it comes to this individual? You know, Two of Swords, like there's something you're not seeing. Two of Swords could be someone who's conflicted, torn, at crossroads. But I don't feel like that's what it is. I feel like you're so caught up in trying to make something perfect for this individual that you're overlooking something. What are they overlooking? What are they overlooking? The chariot. What are they overlooking? King of Pentacles in the reverse. What are they overlooking? You are a perfectionist, Aries, the Knight of Cups. There's something you're not seeing about this Empress. Your Empress, Queen of Pentacles. There's something you're not seeing about this person, Aries. I know this individual, you think very highly of them and you're very impressed by them, which is such a beautiful thing and you want to make things perfect for them. But I think that you are thinking a little bit too hard when it comes to this individual. Yes, they are the Empress. Yes, they are like your dream woman and they're amazing. The Empress is an amazing woman. Yes, they are a Queen of Pentacles, very valuable, maybe even very successful. But there's something you need to know about their background. I don't feel like this per I feel like this I don't feel like this person is superficial. They came out as the King of Pentacles in the reverse. I don't feel like this person even comes from that sort of background. I feel like this is someone who literally went from like rags to riches, which is what the chariot is. The chariot can represent many things. You know, someone who's very victorious, successful, moving forward victoriously, going from rags to riches. This is not someone who like grew up with a silver spoon in their mouth. This is not someone who grew up like extremely privileged. Don't get me wrong. Maybe this person comes from like an average, you know, average home and, and a decent background. But I don't feel like this is someone who's superficial or materialistic at all with a king of pentacles in the reverse. I feel like this person comes from a very humble background, actually. The knight of cups is here. You're overlooking because I feel like this person. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I just heard this person looks very polished. <laughs> I just heard that they look very polished. And also one of the characteristics of the queen of pentacles, she's like, she lives a luxurious life, but she's humble and grounded. That's who the queen of pentacles is. Very loyal, devoted, faithful. Queen of pentacles is all about loyalty. Um, but they're, and, and they may live a lavish life, but they're actually humble and grounded. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just feel like this individual looks very, very, <laughs> spirit keeps on telling me they look very polished. They look very polished, but I do not feel like this individual is superficial at all. I feel like this person comes from a very humble background, especially seeing the Knight of Cups is someone who's very genuine, very sincere, very charming, often seen through rose tinted glasses, but very welcoming and inviting.
I really feel like this person is just looking for a sincere and genuine person because all their life they had to deal with like abusers, literally, like people trying to mentally abuse them, spiritually abuse them, hopefully not physically, but it's like everyone tried to take advantage of this person in some way, shape or form, you know? And all they're looking for is like someone who's just genuine and sincere. I really feel this is someone who, who came from a humble background. I'm just saying they weren't always like this. The, the, the wheel of fortune, things turned in their, in their favor. And that's how they became very, you know, successful. Clarify this knight of pentacles. I mean, clarify the king of pentacles in the reverse. for the king of pentacles in the reverse everything is fine i don't even i don't even feel like this person aries i don't even feel like this person pays attention to like superficial things maybe this is someone who just happens to have the money so they just have nice things but i don't feel like this is someone who will go out of their way and break their back to have look like nice things I don't even feel like this person pays attention to those things. They look like someone who would because I feel like this person is very successful, polished, and put together. But Ace of Swords, they look like it. This is someone who's very polished, very sharp. They just look nice. I feel like this person really looks nice. Maybe they dress nice. Maybe they talk nice. Like there's something about this individual. Their spirit is telling me a lot about this person. I literally just heard mannerism. Maybe their mannerism as well. Ace of Swords, the truth, clarity. There's a lot that that is like. This is someone who I feel like you have someone who the way I see the Ace of Swords here. This is someone who is an eye catcher. Like they're they're hard to not look at. They're hard to not be seen. You know, something about this individual, Ten of Swords. Oh, this person's intimidating. I'm 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 understanding you, Aries. I really am. This person is intim in in intimidating. Until you talk to them, what are they like? What is this person like? Look. Four of Wands. Four of Wands. You talk to this person and you're, you're going to feel like they are your BFF. Like they, this is someone who gets along with with anyone and everyone <laughs> this is someone where it's like maybe like from first impression they will appear intimidating but when you talk to this person do you see this king of cups king of cups everyone loves the king king of cups is the nicest kindest person king of cups is a lover righteous they strive to do right by others they're very compassionate And, and the King of Cups is very emotionally expressive too. This is someone where if they like you, they'll tell you, they'll compliment you, you know, they'll reassure you, they'll support you, they'll they'll encourage you. You you talk. I was like, what is this person like? Four of Wands. The people who people who have gotten a chance to talk to this individual, they feel like this person's like family to them, like family friends with them. People just love this individual. The ones who are bold enough to talk to them. This person is very transparent as well. But there's something about their aura that's like not like it's something in their energy. Like this person has a big energy that's like this person's like this person's like a boss. Like, you know, I can see why you're intimidated. There's something, but the thing is, I feel like this is a sweetheart. Clarify the ace of swords. 
there's something about this, the devil, that's what it is. That's what it is. This person has power. It's like there could be a thousand people in the room. This person walks in, all eyes on them. They care, they they exude immense power, maybe even too much power. They're intimidating as heck. The way I look at this Ten of Swords here, they are intimidating. My goodness. You look at look at the illustration. The devil is an influencer, many times a negative influencer. The devil likes to influence and control people. You see how these two people are bound to this person? They may have ha they may have strong because the devil represents Capricorn. Maybe they have some sort of Capricorn in their sun, moon, Venus, or rising, but I'm more so seeing this as someone where it's something with their energy that's very powerful and alluring and you may get a little people tend to get obsessed with this person but it's something about um holy spirit please help me their energy can control you like it's something about this person where they can influence people without even doing it intentionally because their energy is so strong and powerful, they can be very intimidating. I feel like this person has intimidated so many people. There's some sort of power that this person has. Look, they are a high priestess. The high priestess is someone who's very like spiritual and spiritually gifted. I don't think this is something they intentionally do. I don't even feel like this is a, a power that they know they have. But they can influence things. But sometimes it can be for the negative. Like they can, in, people get intimidated by this person's power. It can be a good thing. Sometimes it could be a bad thing. Sometimes it may even cause obsessions. It may cause people to become intimidated, obsessed, insecure. Clarify this devil energy. Temperance. Peace. The temperance is peace, it's harmony, it's alignment. There's something about this individual, but I'll leave it there. I just feel like you are overthinking. I feel like this person is very powerful, but they use their power for good. Like with the temperance here representing peace, harmony, and alignment. Now, if you get on their bad side, that's another story, you know? Um, but I do feel like this is someone who is of light, but they can be dark. But I feel like it's like they're always light. They're always choosing good over, over. They're always choosing light over dark. Light over darkness, always. The way they're in this temperance energy here. But... Look at this. Go for it, Aries. Wheel of Fortune, the Fool, and the Ace of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune, something that's destined and fated to happen. The Fool, taking a leap of faith into a new beginning. The Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups. This beautiful new beginning. This emotionally fulfilling new beginning. The Lovers, Soulmates. This is amazing. This is really, really amazing. 
There's a beautiful connection. This person does, does have a big energy, but I don't feel like you should, don't let it intimidate you. Cause I feel like, you, I mean, you're literally a higher font. Like you're powerful and influential as well. <laughs> you know, you're powerful, you're influential. The queen of swords, the queen of swords, this is you Aries. The queen of swords is someone who's very clever, very witty, savvy. You are a good, a good uh, communicator. You have everything. You have all the tools, the resources, the skills, everything to talk to this person, to move things forward with this person. All right. Let's take a look at this page of cups. Let's take a look at this page of cups. Because I feel like this is you talking to them. Clear for the Page of Cups. Judgment, death. I see that when you talk to this person, you're gonna feel so relieved. That's what I'm hearing with the Judgment card. You're finally gonna like really see who this person is. You're gonna get a different perspective of this individual once you actually talk to them. The death card talks about major endings that lead to transformations. Ten of Swords is here. You're no longer going to feel intimidated. That's what I'm seeing with the death and the Ten of Swords. Here for this Page of Cups. The Knight of Cups. The Eight of Wands. Wow. You're going to be shocked to find out that this person is, again, they come out as a Knight of Cups. Everyone loves the Knight of Cups. They're very kind, welcoming, and inviting people. Look at the Eight of Wands, that back and forth communication. They will extend a cup as well. If you extend your Page of Cups, they're going to, ex they're going to extend a Knight of Cups. They're going to invite you into their, their world. They're going to talk to you and get to know you more. Tell us more about this uh, page of cups. Ace of cups. I mean, ace of swords. Communication. Everything is fine. <laughs> Do you see this? Everything is fine. <laughs> Let's look at the queen of wands. Which I feel... Is the, is the person that you're interested in? Or is this you? Clarify the Queen of Wands. I feel like this is you. Male or female? This is you. Clarify the Queen of Wands. Five of Cups. Wow. This is actually them. This is the person that you're that you like, Aries. They are a queen of wands. They're very confident. They're very sexy. They're very powerful. They're very optimistic and energetic. This person is a queen of cups. This person is a lover. They're compassionate. So compassionate that sometimes the queen of cups may overlook the red flags in people because this is just someone who who loves others. They're open to giving and receiving love. The five of the Five of Cups represents someone who's grieving over a loss. I really feel like this person, this is someone who people are intent, like, I don't know how to describe this individual, but I feel like they live a lonely life. I feel like their love life, nothing's going much, nothing's going on much in their love life. Maybe even when it comes to friendships, I, I feel like this this is someone who's open. They're looking for someone to love, but no one is there because I feel like people may be intimidated by them. The three of pentacles. Yeah, they want people to be in their life. They want people to work with them and collaborate with them and support them and they support others. <sighs> But people have disappointed them, you know? But I feel like this is someone who's still open to people. They're just tough. I feel like the way they keep on coming up as a king of wands, 
it's tough getting close and personal with this individual. They're loving, they're kind, but like I said, like in the very beginning, this person is a warrior at heart. So they don't let just everyone in, you know? And I feel like, I feel like things get lonely and boring for them when I see the five of cups like this. Maybe that's why in the very beginning I was picking up on that boring, dissatisfied sort of energy. The devil card is here. The devil card represents this person may be a little bit controlling as well. And that's one of the characteristics of the queen of wands. King of swords. They're very, it's not that they're controlling. They're very particular. They're very particular about the people who enter their personal life. This is someone who has like casual connections with people, but not personal connections. This individual is a king of swords. This is a no-nonsense person. King of Swords is very authoritative. King of Swords is a law enforcer. You know, the King of Swords is intelligent, analytical, but they don't tolerate the BS. And they can come off as detached, but once you get to know them, the more you'll realize this person is actually a Queen of Cups. They're very loving, they're very kind, and they're looking for someone to give their love to. This is someone where you just got to be on your best behavior with them. You just got to be on your best behavior. The sun, happiness, fulfillment, growth. like, and, and also, you know, be patient with them. They're here as a nine of pentacles. This is not someone who's going to, you know, don't expect to get close and up close and personal with this person overnight. It's going to take some time with the Knight of Pentacles, but they do value the people who enter their life. They do. The Knight of Pentacles always finishes with what he starts. Okay. Um, wow. There could honestly be like really big potential for marriage here. The world, positive results, getting your desirable outcome. There's there's marriage here. There's the potential for that if that's the route that the two of you want to go on. Yeah. This can really end in happiness. This can really go somewhere. The world card came out again. Wow. The world card represents success. Three of swords and the four of cups. Nine of cups on the back of the deck, literally representing success, fulfillment. I see two people, you and them. You have been heartbroken. You've been disappointed. They have been they have been left out in the cold or they've been feeling... This is someone who is just like... They've had the, this feeling of dissatisfaction. I feel like the both of you have just been dissatisfied by people, disappointed by people. But by coming together, you two can really make each other happy. That's just how it looks, okay? It's as simple as that. The moon. Using your intuition is what the moon calls us to do. Seven of Wands. I feel like I feel like Aries, you're following your heart. And I love you for that. You can't go wrong when you're following your heart. Okay? You're following your heart. You're letting your intuition to guide you towards this person. No matter how difficult you think this connection will be, you're still standing your ground to make it happen. That's probably why you're in that Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands energy. You're really, really investing yourself in, in establishing a connection with this individual because you know, it's almost like you have this inner knowing that they are the one. And you did come out as an emperor and they came out as an empress. So that right there, those are like higher, you know, higher level soulmates um, could easily represent the divine masculine, masculine and the divine feminine. So just continue to use your intuition, discern and 
allow yourself to be spiritually led and stand up for what you love and what you believe in, okay? I'm gonna end the reading here, Aries. This was a really positive reading. Follow your heart, keep me updated on this person and how this connection's going, okay? Thank you so much, Aries. Everyone take care and many blessings to you.